Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with Design World Magazine. I'm here with Kyle Dumont from Voxel 8. Voxel 8 makes machines that print printed circuit boards, and they do a pretty good job of it too. Kyle, um, tell us a little bit about the, the ability of, to make a printed circuit board on this. Like, quite often the line widths are an issue, mm -hmm. and the resistivity of the traces are an issue. Um, tell us a little bit about the Voxel 8 machine, how it addresses those. Absolutely. Yeah, we have a dual extrusion system. Uh, we can print conductive and non-conductive materials. Um, we actually have full customization from the software pipeline over setting the thickness of the trace and things like that. Um, we have about uh, we have the ability to, to print different size traces uh, to get the conductivity uh, up to, to whatever we need it to be. Um, What's the finest trace you can really do? Yeah, our minimum pitch size uh, that we're advertising right now is about 30 mils. Uh, we'll continue to refine that as we, uh, as we go forward. And uh, what's the resistivity of the inks that you use for traces? Yeah, right now we're about 30% of the bulk conductivity of copper. Uh, but I like to follow that up by saying that you know we have uh, full control over the height of the traces. Um, so we typically end up with traces that are you know five to ten times thicker than what you would have in a traditional 2D PCB. Okay. And one of the claims to fame of your machine is that not only can you do a printed circuit board, but you can kind of do a, um, a structure around it if you want to. Yeah. Can you tell us how that works? You know, with our software pipeline, uh, we can actually you know, start with a 3D model, whatever geometry you need it to be, uh, incorporate different uh, electrical line segments, and our software will actually subtract out the plastics uh, that need to be uh, subtracted out to leave only the conductive materials behind. Is it a, it's an extrusion system. It's one extrusion head? Uh, yeah, we have actually two extrusion heads. True. Um, we have the ability to uh, do kind of traditional FDM extrusion and also pneumatically extruded material. Interesting. So what's the most complicated printed circuit board you think you can turn out with a, your system? Oh, man. Uh, we've done all sorts of different geometries from uh, inductor coils to different, in different geometries, um, capacitive sensors, antennas, things like that. Um, we're really excited to push the limits. Uh, couldn't, couldn't even pick one. Cool. Uh, we've got some of your machines right here behind us. I'm hoping you could uh, maybe show us kind of what's going on. Uh, so we have a heated build platform, which is fully removable. Uh, we have actually a pretty modular setup too. Uh, kinematic coupling kind of locks right into place. Uh, we have removable cartridges too, which are customizable and replaceable. So we can upgrade and include different materials in the future. Uh, the filament bin as well is uh, easily accessible. We have no crossbars in front because of our core XY system. How big are your nozzles? Uh, what we're selling with off, off the bat is a 300 micron nozzle. Uh, but the customizable nature means we could ship out or customize another, uh, another uh, nozzle. Design. Could you show us some uh, examples of what you make with this machine here? Sure. What we have here is a traditional 2D PCB that we printed on our printer. Uh, we can actually print directly to the pad on chips and components inserted in. Uh, we're really also trying to expand into 3D geometries. Um, something like this is a watch we've developed, um, embedded LEDs and microcontroller, um, and we printed all the conductive traces. 